Some news that involves the Buffalo Diocese today with the announcement that the state attorney general is suing the local church leadership, including its former bishops. The accusation is that they did not investigate accusations of child sex abuse well enough and instead protected their priests. Two on your side, Steve Brown has been looking into this today. So, Steve, what does the state attorney general know about the Buffalo Diocese that most folks do not know? Uh, close watchers of this particular issue, Barry Alice, will remember that the Attorney General's office issued a subpoena for a huge cache of documents from the diocese. That was back in September of 2018. It took the diocese almost a full year to produce all of the documents, but they are documents that, quite frankly, plaintiffs attorneys have been wanting to get their hands on, including all documents on improper sexual conduct. Also turned over to the Attorney General's office the personnel files of priests accused of abuse. That includes secret files the diocese maintained about priest misconduct or alleged misconduct, and the diocese had to turn over an extensive cache of business records. So a lot of paper, they've had it for about a year, it resulted in the lawsuit being filed today. So Steve, what exactly is the accusation here that's being leveled at the Buffalo Diocese? Essentially, that the diocese and the men who ran the diocese at the time had violated state law as it applies to nonprofits. The then Bishop Rick Malone and then Auxiliary Bishop Edward Groach wasted charitable assets of the diocese. The logic of the lawsuit goes like this that the two failed to live up to the church's own standards of dealing with clergy sex abuse cases, allowing priests considered to have committed sexual abuse to remain in the priesthood and therefore keeping them on the payroll. The lawsuit even accuses both of having failed to actively monitor priests they believe had sexually abused minors. The spokesperson for the, uh, the acting bishop, Edward Scharfenberger, who is also named in this lawsuit, by the way, says the diocese is considering a response, a response to the lawsuit, but nothing quite yet. The diocese does face some serious penalties if the attorney general gets what she wants in this lawsuit. And oversight of the independent oversight of the diocese, they would install an overseer that would, re that would report directly to the attorney general about how cases of abuse are being handled now and in the future and other matters within the diocese. That's for a five-year period. That's what she's asking for. And that the state is seeking restitution from both Malone and Gross, saying they failed to live up to their fiduciary responsibility of protecting the diocese's assets, so therefore they should be made to pay back the money. I, that amount will be argued about in court as well as the rest of it, but that's the thrust of the lawsuit. That's what the attorney general is looking for. An awful lot there. Thank you, Steve. We'll continue to follow your reporting here and, of course, on WGRZ.com. Thank you.